I'm floating right now. I'm just floating down this carpet. I'm just ready to just celebrate all the work that everybody's been doing all season. The 75th Annual Tony Award celebrating not just the best of Broadway, but this year, its triumphant return. When we opened the season in September, we didn't know that we would be able to be here and celebrate as we are today. Live theater is the, is the thing I miss the most during COVID, hands down. But being on stage, but in some ways even more being in the audience. The audience is laughing so hard that it's just, it's kind of rejuvenating. It's not just like, you're not just like putting on energy, but you're actually getting energy back from the audience. You get back into the routine, you put your shoes back on, and you keep going. The red carpet reunited performers for the first time since the pandemic started, giving them a chance to dress up, and celebrate. It feels like um like fairy fairy dust. Like I feel like a like a magical fairy in like a golden forest. I feel like Prince Charming at the ball. No, but it is surreal to, to know that two years ago we were in a horrible place at home and now the world sees how theater transcends. This year's class of nominees is also more diverse and inclusive than ever. Diversity is, is something that's welcome and that theater's better when it's more inclusive. It makes me feel like there's hope. I think this year so many of the nominees are such symbols of resilience and of fight and of, of years of work. It heals my inner 12 year old who felt unseen, unheard, misunderstood. I feel like uh, it's an ego boost, but it also feels just really validating. And tonight's ceremony reunites the original cast of Spring Awakening for a reprisal performance 15 years later. This is so unbelievable to reunite all of us together, the entire original cast. Uh, we've managed to all reunite and kind of conquer COVID in a sense and, and be all together. And if you think these performers plan to rest on their laurels, think again. Take Thomas Kitt, who's transforming the film Almost Famous into a musical. I have to pinch myself that I'm writing this musical with Cameron Crowe. And it's a celebration of music and how music can change your life.